right? This notation um, lesson is going to introduce you into some concepts that are literally pre-calculus concepts. Um, later, these will evolve into limits, but for this, we're just going to look at some arrow notation. So when you see these little symbols to the right-hand side, almost like exponential powers um, of, a, of a number, that means the side in which you are approaching that value. So if you see X, arrow, A, and then to a negative sign, then we say X is approaching A from the left or from numbers smaller than A. If it's a plus, then we're approaching from the right. This says that X goes to infinity. This says X goes to negative infinity. Notice that these are all about X. Down here, these are all about f of x. So these are going to be input values getting close to these values of either a or a negative or positive infinity. Where down here, we're looking at outputs. So if f of x goes to infinity, then we say the output goes to infinity, negative infinity, or to an exact number. Here are two parent functions. We have the reciprocal parent function, and then we also have one over x squared. And let's just write a couple of these in that notation. So the first thing I want to look at is as X approaches zero from the left. So notice X is getting close to zero, excuse me, from the right. So I would write as X goes to zero from the right. Notice that my output values F of X gets really, really big. So that's my sentence. F of X goes to infinity. On the other side, down here, we would then say as X goes to infinity, F of X gets really, really close to zero. Now it does get close to zero from numbers bigger than zero. So you could also say from the right hand side, but some, we don't really need that um, in case you're doing some further analysis with these um, in calculus. All right, as I approach zero from the left-hand side, notice my, my function is going towards negative infinity. So as x goes to zero from the left, f of x goes to negative infinity. Over here, we say as x goes to negative infinity, f of x goes to zero. The only thing that's really different about one over x squared, notice my infinity and positive infinity are both the same. However, we can say as x goes to zero from the left, and as x goes to zero from the right, f of x goes to infinity. However, x cannot ever be equal to zero. We don't ever have an f of x value here. We say f of zero is undefined in that case.